Let's kind of unpack what what baptism does. First thing is you talked about the purity of babies. And the early Christians were a little more hesitant about that idea because of original sin. Now we'll want to clarify that. But there's a sense in which all of us are alienated from God through the sin of Adam. When we talk about original sin, we don't mean literally personal sin. That they, We're not saying a baby has done anything wrong. Baptism is giving you something you wouldn't have by nature, giving you something more uh, than even what Adam had. We actually see that in Acts 2. One of the things that it does is it incorporates you into the body of Christ. So if you look at the, the sermon Peter preaches on Pentecost, the people who hear him are struck to the heart. And they say, brethren, what shall we do? And then in verse 38, Peter says, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And he then says the promises to you and to your children. So this is not just for the adult hearers. This is also a promise to the children because even a child who's never committed a sin does not just naturally enjoy the indwelling of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Does not enjoy the, you know God dwelling within them in the, in the way that happens through baptism. And then in verse 41, those who received his word were baptized and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. Well, added to what? Added to the church. That they become members of the church through baptism. All of that's right there in Acts 2. The other place I would point you is to actually Ezekiel 36. Uh, in verse 24, there's this prophecy. So to summarize, there's four major promises that God is saying he's going to bring about in the new covenant through this sprinkling of water. First, the cleansing of sin through water. Second, spiritual rebirth. Third, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And fourth, incorporation into the people of God or entrance into the people of God, that we will be his people and he will be our God. And I think you see all of those features in Acts 2 when St. Peter's talking about uh, baptism. And I think you see all those features throughout the New Testament uh, when, when you hear the Christians talk about baptism. Baptism.